Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a hot minute since we've done a makeup tutorial. That's a bit of a lie, actually. I literally did a misguided one like a few weeks ago. Um, okay, <laughs> never mind. Um, so, today I showed you how I created this makeup look, and this is with all high street slash drugstore slash affordable makeup products. Um, and yeah, she looks quite cute, to be honest, considering this is all gonna save you some peas, like, she's quite cute. I hope you enjoy it. I don't think it requires much more of an intro than that. Um, oh, and also, just for anyone, I feel like I always forget to mention this, but everything I use, makeup-wise, always, and always has been, cruelty-free, um, it's vegetarian-friendly. I, I forget to tell you this all the time, but if you've been watching me since day, then you already know this. Um, but in case you didn't, just putting that out there, so this is all affordable and also cruelty-free, because that is one thing about high street, affordable brands a lot of them do often test on animals they're not cruelty free which is why I don't really tend to use that many drugstore products because I find it hard to find good ones that are also cruelty free so I did my best anyway for you guys so I hope that you like it um, and yeah I hope you enjoy Mwah. okay so I have already primed etc um, I'm trying something new today I primed with coconut oil I know that sounds kind of crazy and kind of wild and it might be but like if you guys have watched my last makeup video, the misguided one, I used um, jojoba oil, jojoba oil, jojoba oil, yeah, yeah whatever. Um, but I don't know if I'm low-key allergic to that oil. I, like, I can't work it out, but I know that I'm fine with coconut oil. And I've done some research and some people said that it could be good. So today's the day I'm gonna try it out. So that's, defi that's definitely an affordable primer. That's all I'm gonna say. So I've literally just moisturized and I've got like organic coconut oil literally in a little tub and um yeah i just primed with that so i don't know if i'd recommend it yet so bear with me but okay yeah that's all i've done um now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with um i'm gonna start with my brows so i just recently got a affordable brow product you guys know that i always use the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade on my brows um but i got a like high street drugstore whatever brow pencil um and i used it for the first time like last week and i really really liked it so i was like perfect timing for this video what brow do even is this collection okay collection incredible brow brow definer and this is in the shade dark brunette it's like one of the twisty thingies the formula is really creamy so it depends if you like that in an eyebrow pencil or if you prefer it to be stiff I feel like it's kind of personal preference. Side note, these are gonna be really annoying. Like I can, I don't know why I did my hair first because these are actually about to be so jarring. So I'm about to look really clapped and just tuck them behind my ears. It's a look, it's a look. All right, also I'm in a vibe with some tunes because I'm in the, mu in, I'm in the music, <laughs> no. Um, Cause I'm in the mood to just play some bangers and just vibe and just chill out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, you can see brows are filled in, looking cute. Um, I am gonna take my foundation and I'm gonna use it to clean up. You wanna use a kind of matte-ish foundation for this rather than a glowy one. So I'm gonna use the one that I'm gonna be using on my face, which is the misguided one, which if you guys know, you know, I really like this now. So um, mine is in the shade 15. So I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm gonna clean up the top and the bottom just to sort of like carve out my brows. Okay, now they're carved out, they're done. I'm gonna take my concealer, oh, where is it? I'm gonna prime my eyelids. Actually, I'm not even priming my eyelids. I'm not doing eyeshadow today because we've got some big lashes featured in my last video. So um, I'm just basically gonna put concealer on my eyelids, set it, and that's gonna be the eyes. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. concealer. Um, I'll have the details in the description um and it dries really quick that's the only thing about this concealer otherwise it's a really nice dupe for like shape tape tart shape tape or um kind of like a thicker version of the Too Faced one which you guys know I <laughs> literally use every day of my life um but yeah this one just dries a little quicker so you want to work quickly with it just put it down and then blend it and then move to the other eye etc 
And then I'm gonna set it with my NYX HD finishing powder. This one is um, a pan one, just cause I don't have the loose form. This one is like tinted, but I, cause I've kind of run out of the translucent one. Um, but if I had both here, I would probably use the translucent one. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I don't like to look too yellow all over. Do you know what I mean? I like to control how yellow I look. Otherwise I feel like my face ends up not matching the rest of my body. I do also really like the Revolution banana powder. I have that here as well. I'm gonna be using a bit of that, but it's very, very yellow. So I normally mix it with a translucent powder as well. Like my Laura Mercier or my Beauty Bakery or something like that. But obviously they aren't, um, they aren't high street. So I would say, yeah, the biggest struggle of this for me is gonna be powder with using a high street brand because a lot of high street brands test on animals and you guys know that I don't, I, I only use cruelty free beauty. That's kind of why you never really see me using a high street setting powder. Cause I feel like it's hard to find good ones. I know people talk about certain ones which are supposed to be good, but those brands test, so can't vouch for that. But do you know what? This does the trick. And I do really like the translucent one of the pan version of this. I've never tried the loose version, but um, maybe I will. And I can feature that in a video and tell you guys what I think, if you're interested. I think this is probably like the most clapped stage of makeup. Don't you agree? You know, when you've like primed your eyelids and it's like no dimension is on your eyelids whatsoever. The darkness under your eyes looks like 10 times more dark than it is because this is like shining so bright. <laughs> it's just such an awkward stage in the routine. Um, I'm gonna put my lashes on so I feel like less of a naked mole rat. So um, the ones that I'm wearing, I really don't know how to help you out with this guys because it's literally like a random pack from Amazon. When I got them, I was like, do you know what? I was like, I'm in the mood to get some massive, like really annoyingly big lashes. And then I got them, but they're like huge. They're really, really big. And I've just had them kind of sitting there. I've never really used them. And loads of them like don't match. You know how like, cause they're, they're cheap. They're like Amazon ones. Um, but so I literally went through the whole pack trying to find ones that when they were sat on my eye, they looked even. I'm just going to peel off the old glue and then I will come back with them on my eyes. I'm going to use the duo lash glue. No, that's a lie. No, it's actually not a lie. I am using the duo lash glue. Um, uh, the latex free one um, and I'm just going to put these on and then I will come back to you afterwards. Okay, that's all I'm doing with the eyes. Now it's time for the face. So I'm going to take the misguided foundation, um, as I said, but I'm also going to mix it with um, the ordinary in 2.1 P. This is actually like my go to foundation combat at the moment. Like even like even out of high end things, this is what I've been reaching for at the moment. So. All right, so now it's time to cream contour. So I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. And we're just gonna do two lines on the side of the nose. And then while that sort of sets, I guess, a little bit, um, I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade, no, that's, that's the wrong shade. In the shade C13.5. And I'm just gonna go slightly above my contour line on either side, like that. And then I am gonna take my Morphe M43, M438 brush. Why did I need to do a double take? Um, and I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, so now that's all blended out. It's time for concealer. So I'm kind of gonna cheat a little bit. I'm really, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. But I don't, I've kind of run out of the thing that I would normally use. So I need to color correct just a little bit under my eyes. Um, and I would normally use um, the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the corrector in orange, but I don't have it anymore. I'm sorry. I kind of forgot about that. So I'm gonna be cheating and I'm gonna be using the closest thing that I kind of have, which is like a orangey concealer. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, um, just to sort of go on my darkness. If you're using the LA Girl corrector thingy, um, you wanna use literally a tiny amount because it is very, um, very, very orange. So this one isn't as orange, so you can be like a little bit more generous, but you can literally use any really like orangey toned concealer. It doesn't have to be like an actual color corrector. 
Right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some concealer. So I've got a bit of a range of things here. So I've got my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade 3 Warm Medium, which is quite brightening. I've got my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Yellow. And I've got my e.l.f. Concealer in the shade Light Beige, which is like a, a brighter one. So uh, I'm just going to do a bit of a mix, but it's going to be quite a bright, quite a bright under eye. I might also mix it with my e.l.f. Concealer that I used on my eyelids, just to sort of like tone it down a little bit. So yeah, let's get going. So I'm just gonna sort of mix them on the back of my hand first and then um, dab it as I go, especially because the e.l.f. concealer dries really quick, as I said. I don't wanna draw it on and then blend it because you just literally make life hard for yourself. All right, so I'm not gonna look at you right now because I don't wanna crease it, but I'm gonna go straight in with powder and I've got my, um, oh my god, what did I just do? Did you see that? So I'm just going to make sure I'm tapping out all the creases. And then I'm going to take my um, NYX powder that we used to set my eyelids. And I'm going in with the sponge like this. And then I'm pushing it under my eyes. So literally like that. I can actually look at you properly now and then I'm just going to start brushing it off straight away because I don't really want to bake with it because we've already gone quite bright with the under eye hmm, that looks quite cute I don't remember the last time I used a high street like affordable powder on my under eyes it's the one thing that I will never really switch up in terms of like I will never go, I will never look for a, a cheaper sort of affordable powder just because it's the thing that I think is like so crucial to the finish of your base. I think it's so important, like possibly even more than your foundation. I think it's so crucial. So I never really want to compromise on it at all. But do you know what? I've got to say, this doesn't look too bad. It's not as, like, flawless if I look, like, really, really close in the mirror as, like, you know, other powders out there. But if you're trying to save some peas, like, it's actually not a bad option. Like, look, she's, she's quite cute, you know? Like, this is a bit of a vibe. This is all right. I'm not gonna lie, that's gassed me a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, I, I didn't actually expect it to be look that, like, decent, so... Cool. Okay, now I'm going to take the same concealer concoction, do my forehead, a little bit on my chin. I'm going to take the light one. This is in the shade um, Natural, by the way. Um, I'm going to take the light one. Just going to go down the centre of my nose. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Meanwhile, I'm going to vibe, so don't mind me. Right, so now I'm using the same um, HD NYX powder just to set down the centre of my nose. And now I'm going to take my sponge and just sort of clean up the sides of the nose with that powder. Just like how I normally do, but I'm just rubbing it in the pan instead. Okay, now I'm just going to start brushing it off. Okay, Loki looks a bit powdery but don't worry trust the process okay so now what we're gonna do is bronze wet and wild bronzer um what shady beaches so i'm gonna go in with this first and i'll deepen it up with this right okay now for blush i'm gonna use my nick sweet cheeks palette i don't know why i'm looking at it like i'm gonna do a different shade when i literally use the same shade i'm sorry i'm sorry but i'm gonna go with the coral you guys know i love a coral blush kind of going upwards to give us that fake facelift sort of vibe and i'm gonna sort of take a bit on the nose because that looks cute yeah that's cute now I'm gonna do mascara because it's bugging me that I feel like my eyes are so like top heavy. Misguided mascara, um, Oh High Lash, length and definition five and was it? 
I didn't know it was a fibre mascara. Oh, that makes sense because it really makes my lashes look good. Ah, interesting. Learn something new every day. It's gonna go on my bottom lashes. Oh my god. <laughs> How many times do I wanna do that? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up under my contour because it's looking a bit bit too down south. I'm gonna take my um banana powder from Makeup Revolution, the loose one, because it's a little bit darker. Not too precise, just lift it a little bit. Ay, chisel who? Bro. Now, I'm really excited for this. I'm going to do the lips now, just because switch up the order a little bit. I'm really excited to show you guys this, because I've recently discovered it, and I've literally just done it once. I just did it, wore it in my last video, and I'm just now obsessed with this combo. So, it does start with something that you've literally seen a million times. The NYX Intimidate Lip Liner. I know, I know, but I, I just, I love it. I, I, I love it. Allow me, I love it. Okay, I'm going to align my lips first, so let me do that. Okay, so... Now she looks like this. Now what I'm gonna do is take my Peaches and Cream lip liner in the shade Praline. I got this from Pretty Little Thing, by the way. Um, and what I'm gonna do is line just underneath it. So I'm still just doing the lip line, but I'm almost like blending it into my natural lips so it doesn't look so harsh. It just sort of softens the whole thing. Okay, now at this point, I would either put like just a clear gloss or some kind of gloss, or we can do a matte option. Um, I was going to do matte, but now I'm kind of liking the idea of a gloss. But is that a bit of a plot twist? It, um, I'm kind of getting tempted to do a gloss now. Should I do it? Ah, uh, what the hell? Let's do a gloss. I'll show you the matte look another day. <laughs> this doesn't work for someone so indecisive. Do we do clear gloss? Do we do a, a clear but glittery gloss? Or do we do a pink kind of glittery gloss? Do you see my dilemma? I think I'm gonna go plain glittery, maybe. Let's give it a go, let's give it a go. This is from Glossier, this is the holographic lip gloss. I think I'm happy with my decision. So it's got like little reflexes in it. Yeah, that's cute. Wow, I really had planned on doing a map. Never mind. It happens. It happens. Um, what's next? Highlighter. Highlighter. Okay, so for highlighter, where is it? Because I literally got it out. Got it. Okay, so this is the sleek Cleopatra. I want to say Cleopatra. Cleopatra. <coughs> Can I speak? Cleopatra's Kiss? Yeah. Cleopatra's Kiss highlighting palette. She looks like this. Do you guys remember when this first came out? Everyone was like, dying over it. It's been a while since I've got this out. Okay, so I'm gonna take the gold powder one because there's powders and creams in this. Ooh, oh, I forgot. I actually forgot how raw, raw, I forgot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to blend for days. Right now, what we're gonna do is the brow bone and the inner corner. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush and, wait, I'm looking for something that wasn't just for banter. I'm gonna take this, I know it looks kind of weird. We did get this to like water plants and stuff, but um, I kind of, I, I took it, I use it for like my hair and stuff. Anyway, so I'm gonna wet the brush, <laughs> take the same highlighter, and I'm just gonna go into my inner corners and my brow bone. just dropped a powder on the floor. Okay. She's done, guys. This is the, oh, hoops, hoops. This is when the like alter ego fully takes place now. I'm about to shape shift. Okay, cool. So if you want to use a setting spray, um, I would probably say, 
I would probably use the NYX one, but at the moment I'm not using setting sprays, which sounds wild, I know. Uh, yeah, really wild. I've recently found that I'm allergic to quite a few and I've not found one that I really love. So in the meantime, I'm setting spray free. So it is what it is. Anyway, so this is the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, drop me a comment. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. It would mean the world. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Stay safe, stay positive, stay smiling, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.